Hi, good morning. I'm coming to you from a retreat center um, because the youth group is at a retreat this week. So if you remember, you can uh, pray for them and pray that God will really bless them and touch them. Um, so this morning, I'm just going to, um, I have my Bible in front of me. I'm just going to talk to you from the scriptures. So if you have your Bible, go ahead and turn to Matthew chapter 5. Uh, verses 27 through 30. We're looking at Matthew 5, 27 through 30. And basically here, Jesus says in 27, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. Right? But I tell you that anyone who, tell, who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. And so what Jesus is saying here is that the physical act of sexual immorality um, and the the heart, uh, the spiritual act or the heart's action in in committing that sin in your heart and your mind is no different bef before God. Before God, both are guilty. Why? Because God knows all things he is omniscient mankind we don't know all things uh, but I'm, I, I guarantee you that if we knew all things and we knew that another person was lusting after our wives or uh, you know other people knew that we were lusting after other people's wives there would be a lot of lot of uh, angry people and so God knows all things so in his eyes, they're both the same. And the, another point is, in the Bible, God takes very seriously this sin of immorality. Immorality, sexual immorality, uh, you know, um, sinning is a grievous sin before God. It's so serious that in the Old Testament, um, God brought judgment upon the Israelites when they sinned with another nation uh, sexually. Um, and I don't have time to go through that story, but um, it's about Balaam and his donkey, you know, and that whole scene where he was supposed to curse Israel, but he coerced them to sin sexually with the surrounding nations. Um, but Jesus here, the seriousness of this message, you can, you can hear it in what Jesus is saying. He says this in verse 29 through the rest of, he says basically, if your eye, your right eye causes you to sin, then pluck it out, gouge it out. If, then he says, if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off, chop it off. Why? Because it's better to go to heaven with one eye than to go to hell with two eyes. It's, it's better to go to it's better to go to heaven with one arm than to go to hev uh, hell with two arms. And so the seriousness of uh, how God sees this sin is we need to understand that He is very serious about this sin. There are grave consequences. Um, because of these sins, right? So um, there are consequences uh, we, we must understand and know. Um, so we need to, as believers, we need to, we need to cut it off. We need to stay away from these, obey God and stay away from um, sexual sins or adultery or whatever, you know, that is immoral. Um, now, how do we do that? There's only one way. Stay near Jesus. Be intimate with Jesus. Be close to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus with all your heart. Tell him your struggles. He knows already. Tell him your struggles. Tell him you need his help. And when we're close to Jesus, when we're praying, when we're seeking God, reading his word, in close fellowship of Jesus with Jesus, then that is our protection against 
these sins, particularly sin of immorality, um, of um, sexual sins. Jesus Christ, he protects us. Intimacy with Christ, that's our protection. He will give us victory over these things. Now, another point that I want to make is that although uh, adultery and other sexually immoral sins are grievous before God, um, God hates them, they are not the unpardonable sin. They're not unpardonable sin, meaning if we have committed any of these sins, what we can do is we can repent. And repentance is a key. It's very important so that we need to repent and so that we can be purified in our hearts and our minds spiritually of any sins that we commit with, uh, before God. In our, in not just physically, but in our hearts and in our minds so that we'll stay close to Jesus. So repent. Keep repenting. Stay close to Jesus. Cry out to God. That is the power, that's the protection that we can have uh, to overcome this sin. Uh, God bless you. Um, may His love and grace and His peace and His presence be powerful in your life. God bless.